Hey guys, Dello304 here. This is a familiar sight. If you guys saw my last video, you would know that I decided to trade my friend Manly my Retina MacBook Pro in return for his Precision Dell Precision M4600 plus the LG G2 over there. And I used this setup for about three days. And basically the whole reason I wanted to do it is because I was concerned that 8 gigabytes of RAM in this computer was not going to be enough. I plan to keep I planned to make an investment with this computer and I wanted to use it for quite a, a few years. So I was worried that 8 gigabytes wasn't going to be enough. I coincidentally I bought this MacBook Pro about three months before 16 gigabyte became the baseline for the 15 inch. So yeah, kind of got ripped off there, but whatever. Anyway, I was concerned about 8 gigabytes of RAM, and I was also concerned about the unupgradeability and repairability of this thing. And so that's why I decided to trade for the Dell Precision. I soon found out, though, that uh, it was not greener on the other side. Let's just say I had software issues with the Precision from the moment I got it. I brought it home, and I, I, I used it for about three solid days before I was like, okay, you know what, nope, I can't do this, let's trade back. But basically what was going on is, when I first got it, I installed Flux, which is, you know, my uh, light, you know what Flux is. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Anyway, I installed that, and it was causing the computer to, it was causing Windows Explorer to completely disappear upon every boot up, which kind of was annoying. And, in, and a reinstall of Flux fixed that, but come on, seriously, the, the fact that that even happened, like, bruh. I, I just, I don't know. So I kind of let that go, but then I had issues with the computer itself where I put it to sleep to do something, came back a few hours later, and the computer wouldn't wake up from sleep. I had to hard shut it down and reboot, which was stupid. I'm not sure why. But yeah, just little things like that that I didn't like. And the biggest thing, which that which is what made me actually trade back, is that I obviously run three displays, and I like having three displays here because I can you know, plaster a bunch of stuff around the screens. And what was happening with the Precision is to run three displays, including the built-in one, it has to use both the Intel HD 3000 graphics and the NVIDIA Quadro. So what was happening is it was using two GPUs, one severely underpowered, to run all three screens, and it was causing performance to be absolutely garbage. I no first noticed this when I was watching videos on YouTube, um, the videos were very choppy, they were dropping frames everywhere, I didn't get it. I tried one of my own videos, which are 60 frames a second. I tried to play that, that was not even close to 60 frames a second, same thing was happening. So I was like, okay, maybe this is a YouTube issue. So I went on my hard drive and looked at one of my videos stored locally on the, on the hard drive, and I played it and the exact same thing happened. So I was like, what the hell? So uh, I reinstalled both graphics drivers. I tried different configurations and this is what I found. The computer can only run two displays, including the built-in one off of the NVIDIA GPU. So, I unplugged one of my displays, that being this one, and performance went back to being just fine. So, I was kind of, like, I was kind of annoyed with that because I don't want a downgrade, I want a side grade or an upgrade. So, that sucked. So I decided to trade back with Manly, and I got my trusty 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro back. The funny thing is, though, with that display thing, if we boot this thing into Windows and do the same thing, it it has the same limitation. It can't run three displays at once, which is weird. But I guess so. I guess it's just a Windows limitation thing. I'm not sure. It was, it was running Windows 7, so I don't know. Either way, I have my Retina MacBook Pro back. Basically, all the things I was worrying about, that being the 8 gigabytes of RAM and the unupgradeability, the repairability, those are all things that I shouldn't be worrying about yet. The 8 gigabytes of RAM, that's, as of now, it's more than enough for what I do, which is web browsing, the basic stuff, and video editing every now and then. You know, obviously I make videos. So, yeah, 8 gigabytes is more than enough. Well, I mean, I don't want to say more than enough, because if I had any less, it wouldn't be enough, but... As you can see here, memory pressure. I'm not really doing anything, but I've never seen this memory pressure rise above like the 50% the mark, and that was when I was doing a lot of stuff at once. So the 8 gigabytes of RAM, that's going to be enough. Who knows for how long? I mean, in a couple of years, it might not be enough, but we can't really 
worry about that right now. I'm not going to worry about something that's arbitrary that I can't predict. Basically, the RAM is based on two things how demanding OS 10, future OS 10 versions become, and how demanding other software becomes in due time. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that because that's kind of arbitrary. I cannot predict that. So, let's not worry about it until it actually becomes a problem. Same thing with the other thing. The battery in this thing is glued to the front right here. So the battery is inside there. It's glued in there with gobs of adhesive. It's n probably never coming out unless you're really crafty. But, but then again, the battery is good for 1,000 charge cycles. So by the time I probably need to replace the battery, it's probably going to be time for a new computer anyway. So there you go. That's another thing that shouldn't have to worry about. It's probably not going to be a problem. So there you are. So that's just kind of my little ramble on the Retina MacBook Pro. I actually did miss this thing a lot over the three days that I had it. I would have been fine with the precision, but, you know, this thing, while it does run hot, that was another reason for me wanting to do this, is that this thing runs very hot when it's doing intensive stuff. While it does run hot, it never throttles. It actually turbo boosts, even when I'm pegging everything at 100%. It's never shut down on me, and it's never given me performance problems. So that's kind of the whole reason that I took this back, is that I'm worrying about things that aren't problems yet, yeah, if even. So there you are. I'm back with my Retina MacBook Pro. I'm actually very happy about that because I miss this little guy a lot. So there you are, MacBook Pro. Moving on to the phone, because the LG G2 is part of the trade. So I either had to trade it back or buy it off him, and that's what I'm doing. I'm currently making payments because he said that was cool. Whoops. But I'm making payments on this thing. He's selling it to me for 150, so I figured that was a pretty pretty good deal. So there you go. Because I absolutely love this phone. Like seriously, this is like I said in one of my my last videos, this is one of the best phones that I've ever owned. Whoops. So there you go. This phone, you know, it's running Lollipop LG G2. Very, very nice phone. I, I, I don't think I've ever been more satisfied with a, with a phone than I have this one. The lag is non-existent. It runs very, very well. There isn't really any lag. I've been using this phone for a few days, and I can't really remember a time where this phone stuttered, lagged, or otherwise didn't perform. Absolutely awesome. So, love this phone. So there you go. That is the little uh, update. I guess this whole experiment was actually a really good thing because before I even did the trade with Manly, I was, I was going to sell my Retina MacBook Pro and then get a Dell Precision, and that would have been a gigantic mistake. So I'm glad that Manly offered to trade me, and he didn't. And I'm glad that he didn't sell my MacBook Pro right away because then I would have been kind of screwed. So from here on out, I'm not getting rid of my MacBook Pro, I'm not selling it, nothing, I'm keeping it until it doesn't meet my needs anymore, and that's going to be a long way from now. So there you go, that is a little update, and yeah, this was a, actually a really good thing that happened for the reason I just stated. So there you go.